Hi, I'm Venetia and I am here with, I might as well be with Prince William because this guy is our basically our future king. Wow. It's Labyrinth. Thank you very much. That's deep, man. It's That's an honour, Labyrinth. <laughs> it's an honour to meet you as well. You're a very How are you? cool looking girl. I like what you're wearing. Thank you. <laughs> How are you? I'm very good. I'm very How good. was your performance? It was sick, man. I had a lot of fun on that stage. You were you were rocking it. I managed to sneak out and have a little look. Oh, you had a little peek. Yeah, I know. It was a bit wild. I played um, my new single. It's coming Earthquake. very soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, it went a bit crazy out there, which was really cool. <laughs> I think your song, Let the Sunshine, is possibly the most suitable song ever for today. Well, definitely. Um, um, I was on stage and I was like, oh, the sun is shining. And they just knew what was coming. They you knew, knew exactly what was happening. Um, yeah, it's really nice today. I'm loving it. It's amazing, that. Like, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'm loving it. And you have just been at Glastonbury yesterday, yes, haven't madam, you? I Are have. you really exhausted? That's why I sound like this. I'm so smashed. Usually I'm like so excited and hyped, but um, today I'm so smashed because, um, yeah, we done the pyramid with Tiny last night mm -hmm. and I performed in the Danced East um, stage uh, at Glastonbury. So I've been doing a lot of shows. So I'm, I'm kind of smashed. And then I'm working on people's albums as well. I worked with one of the artists that were here today as well, Yasmin. Yeah. Um, and I, yeah, she sung one of the songs I produced for her today. I think I'm right in saying that you're possibly the most hardworking person in the industry at the moment. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I would though. You're always in the studio. You've collaborated with basically everyone. I know, which is really weird. Really great though. No, really, really cool. Like, it, we've been, I've worked with so many characters and stuff like that. And just to see them all perform, like some of the records I've done with them, is really cool. It's really cool. Um, so uh, not, uh, our listeners, not, our listeners and our viewers may not know this. Hello, listeners and viewers. You're hello, right there. hello. Um, but basically, yes. you were the first non-talent show signing of Psycho Simon Cowell's agency, right? No, no, no. I was in X Factor. You were? Yeah, yeah I just didn't. I, I didn't get past that. the foot. No, I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't. I wasn't. Um, yeah, I just was signed um, because. I think they heard um, my production on Pass Out and, and previous records I did before that. And um, I think they just kind of loved what was going on. I had a lot of people on my case at that time. I had low, like basically all the giants after me. And then um, for some reason I went for, uh, well not for some reason, I love the idea of being with Psycho because they're, they're not the most respected in the business in terms of credibility. But um, I just love the idea because I know I can produce my own music. So it wasn't really a worry who I went with. Now, from the way you're speaking, we would assume you were like 28, 29, 30. You're 22. <laughs> yes, madam, I am. You're putting us all to shame. I know we're at uni and we're <laughs> yeah. kind of doing our thing or yeah, whatever, no, but you're just taking over the world. You're so young. <laughs> Is this not really overwhelming? Are you just taking it all in your stride? Um, I think I am, you know. Um, I think it's just one of those things that um, as it comes, you kind of just you're you get yourself prepared for it, really. Like... Um, I never knew all of this stuff was going to happen. Um, I never knew I was going to buy a studio at the age of 22, but I've got it. Like, it's weird. And I, I'm right, like, I think you're kind of like a bit of a business venture, aren't you? You own your something own like restaurant, that. don't you, or something? Yes, sir. <laughs> How did you? I love that. I'm you, a bit of a stalker. You, she's done her research. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, yeah, I have a restaurant um, downstairs from my studio. And, um, Wait, so your studio and the restaurant are the same building? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. That's the same pretty building. cool. It's so funny, if you're we, had, we had Tiny and Adele down at the studio the other day. Um, and we had a little meet and greet because um, I've never met Adele before, but um, we just I just brought her, invited her down for dinner just so we could meet because um, we were probably going to work really soon. So um, yeah, we were kind of it was so funny. It was like a crazy little studio session that we had. I can't tell you what happened did it. It was so bad. <laughs> I don't know what to make of that. <laughs> don't worry, it was just a lot of drink. Okay. So you mentioned Adele just now. Um, yeah. You seem to be collaborating with everyone. So I'm going to say, out of all the people you're not collaborating with, who Ooh. would you like to? Because it seems you're getting everyone um, else. It's kind of, um, I think I would love to work with Chemical Bros. I love them guys. Um, I love Radiohead. Like all them, all, all the, all Wait, the big dudes. All uh, the Rocky Dancy. Yeah, stuff. Rocky Dancy dudes. Um, I don't know. Um, I definitely want to get Little Wayne on a track. Mm -hmm. I think I'm, we're in the midst of doing that right now. So. So have you been over to the states then? Um, yeah, I went down to the states um, about a month ago, mm -hmm. and um, we went to New York and I worked with um, Stargate wow. um, for my album. It was a really good session. We had a, a lot of fun. Now I'm hearing whisperings of an album. Yes. Madam. When? 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 Uh, that's what everyone's saying. <laughs> it's coming. Don't worry. Don't it's worry. like pressure, pressure, you pressure. The, no, no, no. You had the new single. It's 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 wild. Um, 
I got a, a nice little rapper coming on that single, and it's gonna be crazy. A well, nice we'll little a rapper. <laughs> it's not Could little. Could mean so many it's things. It's really not, not little. little. <laughs> My mind's wandering now. Yeah. I don't so you haven't got any like official date or anything? Um, um, I wouldn't give an official date because albums are one of those things. It's like a work in progress. It's always a work work in progress until it's out. That's how that's how artists are. Also, how do you have time to be doing your own album when that's you're exactly kind of producing it. everyone um, else's? I don't know how I find it. Do you know what? I live and breathe music and then like part-time, I'm a part-time caterer. You know what I mean? <laughs> also, you come from like a musical family, don't you? You have like a whole herd of siblings. Yeah. Um, You're one of weird. how many? Do you know what? Yeah, it was so crazy. Last night I was in Glastonbury and like all my, like most of my family were there. My brother was playing for Tiny last Ooh. night on the Pyramid stage. My what other do you brother, mean he was playing? He was playing? He was playing drums. My brother's ah. a Tiny drummer. Um, that was funny, yeah, yeah, because I, I told Tiny about my brother. I was like, you need to work with this guy. <laughs> um, and then um, keeping it in the family, um, I told, I um, know my other brother's playing for Wretch 32, and then my sister's singing backing vocals for, who's she singing backing for? For one of the artists in, um, so basically we were all there in our wellies going, what are you doing there? What are you doing there? It was a bit crazy. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, it's too much music in so my So it's family. not just you taking over, it's everyone, it's everyone in the really whole family. It is, it's a bit weird, man. <laughs> um, also, I really want to ask you about, the style my swagger because i've already i've already caught you've changed shoes haven't you no, since earlier are, no, are you in the same are ones no, no 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 i want to talk about the swagger and the style because it's pretty it's pretty great and it's pretty renowned as well i don't know it's it's wild um yasmin just described you as the most stylish person <laughs> in the game the most the number one <laughs> um do you know i wouldn't say that i would i would say that i just do my thing just the same with my music um i try to um I just tried to express myself. Express myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you look great. Thank you very much. And I think you look great. Thank you. And your necklace, where's that from? Um, my friend um, went to India not too long ago and she um, bought it for me as a little Ooh. present. I so was it's like, like Thank mixing you. up so many things. Yeah, a little gift on, on the neck. So, um, and the rest from my stylist. <laughs> oh, nice stylist. <laughs> so, the rest of the summer, what can we expect from you? Were any like big festivals? Well, I'm going to be like putting out a new single. My new single, Earthquake. Earthquake. Um, that's going to be on the radio really soon. Um, I'm going to be um, releasing loads of songs with other artists. The same, same what I've, same as what I've been doing. Mm -hmm. Really, you're going to come down to my restaurant and have food with me, and bring your cameras, and we're going to have an interview there. And I'm so up for know. that. Yeah, you should do it. So you're around, basically. Yeah, definitely. Right well. About. Listen, it's been an absolute pleasure. pleasure to meet it's been you so well. lovely talking to you and thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> thank it. you.